Hi there, it's Veronica. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I have decided to do something a little bit different. I've decided to show you my room. Basically, where I do my makeup, where I sleep, etc, etc. A bit of a room tour. Now, I moved six weeks ago into a smaller house. So I ended up in a smaller room, about half a size smaller than I had before. Which is a shame. It's a nicer house. Um, I wouldn't garden and parking and that sort of stuff. Basically, I had to downsize, so I had to come up with things that I don't longer need or I can be stored away or that sort of thing. So yeah, I'll just go straight into it. Here, I'm going to introduce you to my bedroom. This little bee, it's a quite nice ornament. It's metal um, on a thread and it, I got it from Matalan. It's a shame they don't have any more because I was going to buy some for my friends. And basically, here we are. I'm just going to start from, start from behind the door. This is my fluffy wo wo wardrobe? A robe <laughs> uh, that I got from my mom a couple of years ago for Christmas. And I wear it in the evenings. And then I have my shower robe from Dano. Uh, my handbag's just there in the corner. And then I have um, my shelf with my Soap and Glory products. This is what you see in pr pretty much most of my videos in the back. And this one is my favorite at the moment. The whipped clean look cream wash shower butter and it smells beautiful like vanilla and yeah it leaves my skin nice and moisturized this is the latest purchase from my uh from my perfume collection and it's the rosie huntington weekly rosie for autograph it smells really nice i like the bottle as well so that it's gonna look nice even if when it finishes i don't think i'll get rid of it and this particular one has been empty for about five or six years. I got it for my birthday. It's the Fendi Fendi perfume and it was beautiful and I just couldn't part with the bottle. Then my drawers where I have all well, my underwear and stuff like that, There's some t-shirts and things like that. And then the temporary solution to my wardrobe. <laughs> so yeah, I'm still working out what I can fit in this room. Uh, my bed. Now this bed I absolutely love. Uh, not the bedding, <laughs> but the bed. I bought it for £160 in Ikea. And it's got this huge drawers. And there's a mess in there. It's my sports gear in there. Um, and it's absolutely... It's got so much storage underneath. And for £160, it's sturdy. I moved it a couple of times already. Yeah. I don't have any paintings at the moment. I'm actually planning a painting here. I like to do my own paintings. And then some pictures and stuff on the other side. So overall... This is where I do my makeup, um, yeah, a shelf, I had to downsize from two to just one, actually a smaller one than I had before, but I'll start from the side. Um, <laughs> and I'll show you something that I think is quite funny, and basically, this is how dedicated I am to YouTube at the moment, oh well, full stop. I, this is how I started filming, I was looking for something to put the uh, selfie stick in, and I found the lawn seed grass there which I'm supposed to be using in the garden and not for filming so I thought that would be quite nice if you saw that um, but this is my new one so I just need to a uh, tripod I just need to wait for the adapter for smartphones on the top I do my own jewelry occasionally when I'm bored which with YouTube I don't think I'll ever will be anymore but um, yeah so that's my um, jewelry box and then some empties just there which I should be filming soon and then I'll start with the shelf this is my Ted Baker makeup bag, which houses a few other makeup bags in there as well. Um, yeah, I bought it for £10 of eBay and I'm chuffed with bits with it. It's beautiful. I use it wherever I, whenever I travel. Um, and then also I have a little Jetem glossy box bag, which was a July glossy box. And then just some other bags in there. The next shelf, I have a diary. Uh, two of the Lauren Conrad books I quite like them they look quite nice on shelf but i also read them through them so i used to like lauren um well, i still do when she played in heels yeah uh, that was an interesting one to watch uh this is the special glossy box that uh, it's the nurse one that's how i got to try a, a orgasm blush and the orgasm multiple blush and few like mascara and eyeliner and stuff like that and i can't part with it it's nice nice and velvety just like all their uh, packaging now, um, brush, uh, this is my hair stuff, sorted, just there. This particular mirror in the back actually broke while I was filming a Get Ready With Me, but it was so long, my, my um, 
camera didn't, my phone didn't cope with it well, so I had to delete it, but it would have been so hilarious. It literally broke like 40 seconds in. Um, anyway, moving on. Uh, my jewellery there, so most like, like earrings and stuff like that. Um, and then I have a little plate here that my friend bought me from Tenerife. Um, and then my broken phone cover. Fingers crossed I'm going to get a new phone soon. Uh, this is sort of like just a beauty storage box and I have an antibacterial makeup spray um, and then some uh, cleaning solution for my brushes uh, a Lynx um, contact lenses solution toner, my favorite Nivea double effect makeup remover and some more Nivea products there shelf underneath a uh, bit random a box, I sometimes store things like makeup in there I don't no longer want uh, some uh, cotton pads, uh, cotton buds, my shade and light palette, this one is the powder trip soap and glory uh, sort of set, just there, then the Mi Vida Loca palette is just in the back, further down, bracelets, um, necklaces, uh, it's just a, something little, uh, my headband for when I do my makeup, this was um, flush tattoos that I bought recently, this is a mat that I bought and I think it should be used for like your hot pots and stuff like that in the kitchen. I use it to clean my brushes, passport. This is full of samples. And then we have a bin. We have some shoes that need boxing up. Uh, my nail varnishes are in here. This is sort of a box full of memories, that's what I call it. And then here I have uh, some of my hair products and some spares. Now moving on. That's my garden, quickly. My tablet, this is a little painting that I did a few years back. Um, and this acrylic storage was normally used for like my foundation, my brushes, and like things that I needed to access quite quickly. But I'm still working out what to do with that. So this is my desk. These are the Alex 5 drawers, which I bought recently. And here I have my tiny little bare lip glosses. Um, my perfume samples are there, cotton pads, my cream, uh, Maybelline Fit Me consoles I'm trying to finish off, uh, this is for my contact lenses, uh, my beauty bag which I can use to go into my handbag because that's for today, uh, brushes, these are still clean, these are dirty already, uh, guards, real t uh, brush guards, like quite useful, real techniques, sponges are seriously dirty, a lamp. And then the top of my desk, which needs cleaning. Uh, I won't show you the drawers simply because I'll be doing a separate video on that. But just a quick sort of that's how they open. And on this side, I have a mirror. So, hello! <laughs> I have a mirror, a full-length mirror. This was given to me by a friend. Uh, it just needs a bit of restoration because the color starts to come off. It's got a bit of a crack, but still in perfect condition. So I will have to do something. And uh, a little beautiful. I can't remember what they call it. It's like Fran French. Uh, every time I see it, I think of France, and I'm thinking, oh, I need to go and take it with me. Um, and then. On the side here, I do most of my own hand handy work, so I have a kit uh, from Ikea and then some jewelry that is sorting out and well, deciding what I'm going to do with it. But um, the kit was quite useful because one of these drawers actually uh, sort of snatched. Um, the screw came out and I just fixed it myself, so I'm quite handy like that. I think I take after my mother. <laughs> and then you have more drawers just there under the bed, which is very very useful clean up so yeah that's that's my bedroom quite tiny comparing to other ones I think but well some people live in a meter by meter and you know it's um, it's big enough for me I had to get used to the smaller size I think it was, it was a bit of a shock coming from a, I literally had like a double size double this size room and or at least a third bigger and it's just you can feel it at times but yeah that's 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 it. This is this is my room. So um, I hope you liked the little tour. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.